Hi there, this is Donna Kozik. I am the creator and leader of the original Write a Book in a Weekend program, along with our sister program, okay. Done For You Publishing. And uh, this is a short and powerful training about three strange and unusual books anyone can write. Second day of my training. The first day, I, oh, Warren, could you uh, mute your line, please? Um, the first day, we, yesterday, we talked about the first strange and unusual book anyone could write, and that is a trivia book. And I talked about how people love trivia. We all have certain areas that we're interested in. And uh, so it's a fun little book to put together. My second strange and unusual book is a question book. And it's kind of a little bit along the same lines when it comes to theme and why to do this type of book. But the format is and the content, of course, is different. So people love talking about themselves. And you can tap into that love with a question book of your own, one that can serve as a marketing tool for your business. So this idea came to me because of a Christmas gift that I gave someone. And uh, it was a book titled 3001 Questions About Me. And basically, it just it's a list of questions um, in a book. For the one that I'm going to share with you, I can, um, I'm going to suggest you put that into some categories, I have a little bit more molding that you can do with the content. And, uh, but the idea here is to get people to be thinking about themselves. And really what this book does is it serves as a conversation starter. It's pretty amazing because I was with five people and some of them are a little bit more over the holiday. Some of them are a little bit more shy, a little bit more introverted. So when we were sitting around the table, I just pulled this book out and I opened it up and there was a question about tell a story about uh, your grandfather. And what happened is that we went around the table and people told stories and then it led to other stories about other family members or things, uh, other things about their grandfather or qualities or characteristics. So it really led to a robust conversation and, uh, you know, really kind of a memorable moment. And we can tap into this and do something similar even in our coaching or consulting businesses with a type of book like this. So here's how to get started. First, you wanna identify five to seven categories of question topics. I recommend picking topics that are associated with your coaching or consulting practice. You can also pick them based on your audience's interest. For most coaches, questions will center around general topics such as self-exploration or life goals. For consultants, you might wanna pick categories like leadership or good management. And I have some potential topics that I'll uh, share, with here, share with you here in just a moment. Then you wanna create about 30 or so questions related to each topic. And you can use your own creativity for that. Google, or I gotta say, chat GPT is really a way to get this done fast is uh, to buy putting the question topic and asking ChatGPT to come up with some questions for you. Put the questions in the sections. And then again, write an introduction describing the power of questions. This is how this book serves as a positioning tool for you, as a big business card, as a way to promote your coaching or your consulting business when in, it's all about the introduction. So you talk about the power of questions and, and the answers that they can lead to, which really as coaches, we do a lot of, right? Of asking questions and listening to the answers and, and giving some uh, thoughts on that. So in the introduction, describe the power of questions and why you picked the categories you did include some information about who you are and what you do too. And then publish this book to put it to use for you. Uh, this is a great gift book throughout the year. Plus it creates go-to content for an icebreaker for Zoom meetings or group coaching sessions. If you're ever in a group coaching session with someone and they're just being recalcitrant and answering your questions uh, or you know, getting any kind of discussion going, you could totally change channels and say, you know what, let's pick a question from my book and then uh, that might help them uh, start expressing themselves a little bit more. Extra credit, introduce each question section with a story or deeper dive about the topic, and this will further position you as a thought leader. So here are some examples of question categories for life coaches. By the way, um, the, this is one book. I had uh, somebody emailed me yesterday about the trivia book and they were wondering 
if each of these, you know, uh, trivia examples like I had for myself about baseball or travel, if each one was a book, and I'm like, oh no, this is, these would be five categories within the book itself. And the same with this question book. So you could have sections, again, five to seven sections, a section about self-discovery, a section about career and goals, a section about relationships and social life and all that. And I really would recommend this to keep a variety of questions going because some people, maybe they're not interested in their careers, you know, career questions, but relationships or social life questions are all about that. So I think that's the uh, cool thing about this type of book is to have a variety. So again, here's like uh, 20 different categories of questions, health and wellness, financial health, personal growth, life transitions, all those kinds of things that life coaches uh, specifically, we work with, you know, productivity, time management, those kinds of things. And you want to pick the question category that you resonate with in your own coaching. So for, in for instance, for me, being a book writing and publishing coach, leadership and influence was would probably be one category that I would pick because that's a kind of subtopic. It's a, it's a motif almost that I talk about when I'm talking to my clients and my prospects about this idea of being a leader to your reader and sharing your message and being a thought leader and, and things like that. So that would be a good category for me. So you wanna think about your own coaching area and uh, pick categories that go with that. Of course, like happiness and contentment, that's a good one for almost all of us because that also just leaves a feel good uh, has a, a good feeling with the reader. And so those could be some questions too. I would probably put that like in the last category of the book and close out the book with them. If you're a business coach or consultant, here are some um, uh, categories for you. Leadership identity, values and ethics in leadership. That's a huge uh, uh uh, topic among management. I know emotional intelligence, always a uh, popular topic in businesses, communication skills, building and leading teams and all of this. And of course, all these questions are self-reflective for the reader and maybe gets them to think it's like, you know what, I could use a real some coaching around personal productivity here. <laughs> Number 11, let me see who wrote this book. Let me go get their uh, freebie that they offer, get on their list and find out what they're all about. So this is yet another way to have a book to serve as a big business card for you. I have a note here makes a great gift book for the holidays. Again, when I saw this one, I picked it right up. And then also um, throughout the year. So if you have a strategy session with somebody, you can send them this book directly from Amazon to them uh, for a surprise and delight and another endorsement of who you are and what you're all about that you send to them um, in the mail. And I would hire a coach who sends me a book, that is for sure. All right, so for those who are live in my Zoom room, I'm gonna come and answer a few questions for you. Uh, in the meantime, questions about the, the question book. In the meantime, my name is Donna Kozik. I'm the creator and leader of the original Write a Book in a Weekend program. Along with our sister program, Done For You Publishing, you can pick up your free publishing checklist at doneforyoupublishing.com. And I look forward to seeing you and your question book on Amazon and in the bookstore.